Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and today I wanted to do a video about Paladins and Warriors. Now I know the title of the video says Paladins versus Warriors, but that's because quite often people ask me which is better for tanking, a Paladin or a Warrior? Well there is no actual answer to this question as both are designed to be able to play main and off tank. We're going to look at the tools of both Paladin and Warrior, talk about their strengths and weaknesses, and help give you a better idea of which one you would want to play. Keep in mind a few things, one is that warriors do take some gladiator abilities and paladins do take some marauder abilities. When speaking about the tools they have, we will avoid talking about tools with similar effects such as shield lob and tomahawk and that are accessible by both jobs. Also, keep in mind that a shield does not grant additional defense or magic defense, it only grants the paladin the ability to block, so therefore they're, the warrior and the paladin have the same innate defense and magic defense when wearing similar or the same gear. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into the paladin. Now the paladin is a high mitigation, medium HP tank that focuses on stopping most of the damage before it's even a factor. They have a shield and sword and can both parry and block attacks to reduce damage. Now let's look at some of their job specific tools. We're going to go down the list very quickly. Rampart reduces damage taken. Riot Blade replenishes MP. Fighter Flight increases physical damage dealt. Rage of Halone reduces the target's strength. Shield Bash is a TP based stun on the global cooldown. Shield Swipe pacifies enemies, preventing them from using certain skills, can only be used after blocking. Sword Oath increases auto attack damage. Cover lets you shield a friendly target from physical attacks for a brief period. Sentinel reduces damage taken by even more than Rampart. Shield Oath reduces damage taken, reduces damage dealt, and increases enmity generation. Only one of the two oaths can be up at a time. Tempered Will removes bind and heavy effects while preventing knockbacks and draw-ins for a brief period. Spirits Within does damage based on your current HP. Bulwark increases your block rate. Hallowed Ground makes the Paladin almost invincible, and Circle of Scorn deals AoE damage over time with a moderate cooldown. Additionally, a Paladin's Flash additionally blinds enemies, Convalescence is more potent, and Awareness lasts longer. They also have access to Conjurer spells such as Cure and Stone Skin. So let's look at the pros for the Paladin. They are able to mitigate a lot of damage, both against physical and magical sources. They are able to use MP to cure themselves in desperate situations. They are able to generate large amounts of enmity, and they are unable to be locked down due to tempered will, which makes them extremely effective in fights where players are locked in place and positioning is crucial. And finally, they have a low skill cap on the rotations. It's very easy to make mid-combat decisions about your weapon skills. They have some cons as well though, they do have a lower HP pool than the Warrior, and they do require high cooldown attention and raid awareness. They lose MP very fast when AoE tanking, and in order to replenish it they must use uh, TP. Without the help of items or bard songs this means they run very low on resources very quickly. Shield is, and finally the shield is only effective against attacks that can be blocked. It does not provide any defense or magic defense so they're on the same level as warriors. Summary is, paladins are a great beginning job for new tanks due to their low skill caps and powerful damage reducing abilities. They are more dependent on healers for healing, but are able to reduce stress on the healers and peoples due to their high mitigation. If you're looking to play a strong tank that will take less overall damage numbers, paladin is for you. Next, let's look at the warrior, which is a medium mitigation, high HP tank that focuses on taking the damage, but self sustaining it back up. Combined with their higher overall damage output, warriors can take damage, deal it, and heal it back up all with the same tools. So let's look at those tools now. Brutal Swing is a stun with a moderate cooldown. Overpower is a conal enmity generating weapon skill. Maim increases the warrior's damage output. Berserk increases their attack power by 50%, however they are unable to use weapon skills for 5 seconds after the duration is over. Defiance increases their max HP and lowers their damage dealt while increasing their enmity. It also allows for certain skills to generate what is known as Wrath, a stacking buff that increases crit chance and triggers certain abilities to become available at 5 stacks. Next they have Thrill of Battle which increases their max HP by a large amount and heals them for that same amount. 
Next, they have Inner Beast, which does high damage, ignores the Defiance damage debuff, and absorbs HP. It does require 5 stacks of Wrath to use. Storm's Path absorbs HP based on damage up to a percentage of your maximum HP. Unchained removes Defiance's damage debuff for a short time and requires 5 stacks of Wrath. Home Gang holds the target and the warrior in place for a short time. Steel Cyclone does high AoE damage that ignores Defiance's damage debuff and requires 5 stacks of Wrath. Vengeance deals damage to enemies that physically hit you for a short time. Infuriate instantly grants 5 stacks of Wrath. St and finally, Storm's Eye decreases a target's slashing resistance and healing received for a short time. Additionally, Foresight has a shorter recast. A warrior's bloodbath lasts longer, their fracture lasts longer, and their mercy stroke has a shorter recast. They also have access to powerful pugilist abilities such as Second Wind, Featherfoot, Internal Release, and Mantra. So let's look at the pros of the warrior. Their HP pool is very, very high. They are able to generate high AoE and single target enmity. They are able to absorb or heal up for large amounts of HP. They are able to deal high damage for a tank and they are able to lock down targets for a short time. Additionally, they do above average AoE damage compared to the Paladin. They do have some cons however. Their rotations are much more complex than a Paladin's, meaning they have a higher skill cap and are generally harder to learn. They have no way of innately recovering lost TP or MP which makes them rely on bards or items in long fights. They only have the ability to parry and they cannot block. They have less tools to prevent taking damage as their tools tend to focus on replenishing lost HP. And these tools are gated by cooldowns or combos, meaning there are times where the warrior is unable to utilize them. Summary for them is while warriors do require a bit more skill to use properly, they are just as good as paladins in terms of tanking. With their higher overall HP and powerful sustain, they are able to mitigate the difference in damage numbers with their own tools. They also scale better with HP based cures or abilities such as stone skin. Overall, both tanks are designed to be completely viable in endgame and have their own strengths and weaknesses. Play whichever style you like more. Some people like having super high HP and self-sustaining back up, while others like knowing for sure that they're just going to see lower damage numbers. There's something for everyone here, just pick whatever works for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter in the descriptions below. And finally, if you enjoy my YouTube channel, you can always donate to help me get some better equipment and better the quality for you guys. Or you could donate to GamingForGood.net. You donate there, it gets sent to the Save the Children Foundation, and you get points to help you buy games. It's a pretty cool system. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.